Hi there, here we have the 2015 Smart 4.4. This is the 0.9 Prime Premium Plus T. I'll do a video walking around the car, showing you the vehicle condition. I'll also be showing you the interior and all the controls as we go inside the car. Just starting off from the front, as you can see, no sort of major scuffs or scratches, but it is also nice and clean as well, so no sort of uh, major marks. It does have the LED daylights, as you can see, which are currently on black 15 inch alloys as you can see they are all in good condition so no sort of marks on any of the alloys it's a very nice color combination we've got the black with the white so black alloys and the white exterior so it does look really nice just to confirm rush have done a full mechanical check a full service and the new 12 months and material will be done at point of sale moving on behind the car now so at the back sort of major scuffs or scratches it does have the rear parking sensors as well as the rear sensors you do also have your uh, your rear camera which is just there so once we go inside the car i'll show you the um the rear camera i'll make sure i activate that as well on the screen aa warranty as well as the 12 months breakdown cover so that all comes in with the price of the car you do also have the option to extend the warranty up to 36 months so this is something we highly recommend that rush moors obviously more as a peace of mind it does have the panoramic roof so from the outside it is not visible you just think it's a black roof um, but it is actually glass so moving on inside the car at the moment as you can see no sort of marks um, on the actual door itself a few minor scratches just there but nothing major at all it does have the full leather seats so both driver side and front passenger are heated as you can see it does have the panoramic roof so the front and back dash is all nice and clean as well so i'm showing you once we go around all right so back doors as you can see once again all nice and clean so the, the, the back do also open up as well as you can see just there so that window does also open up but you have to do it manually yourself two seats at the back which are full leather it does also have the isofix so as you can see just there they do also fold down so if you need to have more room at the back then obviously the two seats at the back do fold down um, so you can fill up your boot but to be honest considering the size of the car it does actually have a decent boot space you also have your parcel shelf so it gives you that privacy no one can see what's inside your boot Show you the back once more. It's a back door. As I mentioned, the windows you can open up yourself, so you have to manually open up the rear windows. However, it is nice that they do open. Right, so driver's side door now. So you've got the controls for the front um, for the front two windows. You also have your um, electric door mirrors if you want to adjust your mirrors just there you can so down below you've got your auto stop start you've got your lane assist and you've also got your right uh, your parking sensors button as well sometimes it can be annoying um, with the sensors so you can turn them off okay so moving on inside the car so let's start off with the actual steering wheel first so it does have the um, leather multifunctional steering wheel as you can see here you've got your uh, your cruise control and on there you've got your uh, your buttons for your radio so mileage is currently 42,133 as you see no lights on the dash one of the doors is open is actually the driver's side door so i haven't closed it properly so that is why there is a light there the other one is your handbrake and um a seat belt as well so no other sort of lights on the dash obviously all the lights will disappear um once i close the door put the seat belt on and, and release the handbrake so simple as that Anyways, now moving on to the screen itself. So it is a touch screen. So we are currently on the on the map as you can see. So no route planned if you can see just there. So what you do is you just click on there. Um, do you want to plan a new route? Yes, it'll take you to obviously where you want to go. So recent destinations, um, point of interest. If you go into address, you can add in the postcode as well. Um, and then you just press obviously enter. It will direct you where you need to go. So that is nice and easy to work with. It is really nice because it is touch screen and it is quite responsive as well. Um, 
So that is quite good. Let's go on to the actual menu itself just so that you can see what exactly the car has. So it does have the multimedia. You do also have your phone. It does have the FM and AM radio on board as well. But anyways, let's go on to the multimedia for now. As you can see, you've got the radio. There we go. So let's go back out of, the, out of that. Let's go into the media just so that you can see what it's got. So you've got your USB, SD and auxiliary uh, inserts. You've also got your Bluetooth audio as well. So let's just go back so I can explain how the Bluetooth works. So if we go onto the phone itself, um, if we go onto settings, obviously if we want to go and manage devices, we can, we can connect our phones. So you just go and manage device um, and pair it up. Simple as that. Um, right, once that is paired up, any phone calls that come through can be answered on your um, on your screen. So whoever you saved, if you've saved the number, it will, it will tell you who it is, um, who's calling. If not, it will see, say it will state the number, um, and you can answer it or decline it. You've got the option to do that. Um, anyway, once 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 it is connected and you know you know what you're doing, sort of thing, you just go onto the multimedia, go onto the media itself, go onto the Bluetooth. Then you can play your music through YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever it is you play your music can be played in the vehicle. Um, which is which is obviously ideal, which is nice. Um, so that is the screen itself. Down below, you've got your um, your you've got your air conditioning, and you obviously you've got your the misters, your rear demister, front demister. Um, you've got your AC button just there as well. Obviously, that's where you want air to be blowing. That's the temp, the pressure of the air you want to be feeling. Simple as that. So that is that. This does have the automatic gearbox, so it is auto. Right, so if it is sunny out there, it is affecting you, you can obviously close it as well. So there we go, it does have the blind, or as I say, you can leave it open so it is on. It does have the front two heated seats, as I mentioned, it is currently on, so it does feel amazing um, as I'm doing this video, but that is just for you guys to know as well. So yep, it does have the two front heated seats, which is um, which is really ideal. So when you take the ignition off, um, when you turn the car off, turn the ignition off, that is your screen. Obviously, once you come out of the car and lock the car, then obviously all of this will, does, will, will turn off automatically. Right, so you've seen the uh, condition of the exterior and the interior. If there is any further questions or any finance arranging, then please don't hesitate to give us a call as I'm more than happy to help and answer any of your questions. All right, thanks for watching.